June 25, 1969. Nearly a month before the Apollo 11 mission, the first stage fuel was loaded into the stage. The Saturn S1C stage burned RP-1, a high grade of kerosene, in liquid oxygen. Since the fuel was storable at ambient temperatures, it was loaded long in advance. For Apollo 11, this took place June 25th. The fuel facilities at Pad 39A were positioned on one corner of the pad with the oxidizer facility opposite. Near the RP-1 storage was the tank for liquid hydrogen, the fuel used in the second and third stages. Only the first stage used RP-1. When the RP-1 was loaded into the first stage, it was overfilled on purpose. When fueling the vehicle, the entire system leading to the pad, pumps and pipes, had to be filled with RP-1. After loading to prevent fire, these were fully drained and purged. The RP-1 tank had LOX feed tubes running right through the middle of the tank, so when the LOX was loaded aboard the stage, the RP-1 cooled and became more dense. After this occurred, the launch team could more accurately determine the proper load of RP-1 and then drain off the excess. The adjustment was always planned as a drain so that the RP-1 loading system didn't have to be filled on launch day. Countdown to Apollo 11, June 25th, RP-1 loading.